Let's get ready to rumble! Hey friends, it's Holly. Welcome back to Dandelion Stitches. Welcome if you're new and if you're not, super happy to have you. Really grateful that you took some time out of your day to spend it with me. So uh, this is the Sew Sampler Box. Uh, I have already filmed this and my phone ate it <clears throat> or corrupted it or a, a whatever it did, it chewed it up and spit it out and it just what well, didn't happen. So this is the new intro to the Sew Sampler Box from Fat Quarter Shop. It is $24.95 a month plus shipping. It is always an amazing bargain for a box. If you're looking for a small box that you don't want to invest a lot of money in, but usually comes with some kind of cool stuff, this, one, this might be your box. So um, let's just go ahead and get into what I already filmed that is actually uh, watchable, and then I'll be back <laughs> to say goodbye. Bye, but not really. So Soul Sampler is almost always a favorite of mine. Uh, it is... For several reasons you can't beat the price you can't it's it's the only box out there that has a project and notions and fabric and um for under thirty dollars you it's you can't beat it um it's usually pretty creatively uh, curated so uh let's let's see what we've got going on today September Sew so Sampler Life is Sweet. Is it? It is indeed. And then on the other side of this, there are coupon codes. Huh, okay. If you're, if you're not, a, if you don't get this box, um, every month there is a coupon code. And this month it's for needles. And uh, that's pins and needles. So you can, you can never have enough pins and needles. So, let us get into our documentation. And, okay, here we go. So, Sweet as Honey, Daisy Fields, 10, is that a 10 or, is that a zero or two? 10 inch, Short Stacker by Beverly McCullough for Riley Blake. Everything is coming up daisies with the sweet fabric from Riley Blake Designs. Daisy Fields by Bev McCullum, McCullough, sorry Bev. Adorns sweet daisies and honeybees with modern geometrics and inspirational quotes. This 18-piece sweet as honey daisy fields 10-inch short stacker is a beautiful mix of all the prints in shades of honey, mint, teal, and navy that will make you dizzy with delight. Well, dizzy usually needs means my blood sugar is too low, but let's uh, let's go for it here. Yep, yep, gonna make it happen any second now. There we go. Don't know why I refuse cutting these things. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so whenever they roll them up like this, they always get all bunchy and make sure we got room here that you can see. Okay, we've got your basic honey. Okay, I. If anybody else gets this box, please throw in your two cents because I'm going to say it. I feel like the fabric is slightly thinner than what I have seen Riley Blake do. It's, it feels nice. Uh, okay, that's all I'm going to say. So we've got more of these honeycomb thing. Maybe if I just slip it back, that will. Okay. More honeycombs, daisies. But oh, that's cute. I like that a lot. That's cute. Uh, more bees. Some gingham seems to be very popular at the moment in all kinds of boxes, dots. We're covering all the bases here. 
Dots, ginghams, hexagons. That's cute. Bees and daisies. And more, more bees and daisies. Just daisies. This one's got little teeny weeny hexagons in there. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna. This fabric is not, is not up to. Uh, <laughs> what I have become accustomed. <laughs> I sound like a snob, kind of. But you know what? I'm here to judge it, so I'm gonna judge it. It's got also this one's got little metallics. These little hexy things are metallics. Life is sweet. Be kind, honey bee. Where my honey? Oh, it must be home. Home is where my honey is. Um, again, only in yellow. Flying buzzy bees. And more bees. Okay. Uh, 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 you know. So the next thing up is this was a, a twenty dollar value. The next thing up is the magnetic seam guide. You know what? I almost just bought one of these. Huh. This is one of those things that um. It's a magnet and you put it, well, let's just read. Shall we read rather than me trying to describe it poorly? This magnetic seam guide will get you buzzing to sew more. This nifty notion is strong, easy to use, and can be used on most sewing machines with metal parts. Simply measure and place it on the throat plate along your desired seam allowance, parallel to the presser foot, and you're ready to sew. Yep, it's metal, goes right in there. I. This is a $4.98 value. Next up, thimble, there we go, thimble pad leather adhesive thimble. Get rid of needle pricks that stem from hand sewing. Each needle pad, or thimble pad, did I say needle, thimble, thimble pad, is a reusable adhesive pad that is tough enough to handle the heaviest needlework, but comfortable enough that you'll forget it's there. Stick them to any hard surface to have them conveniently within reach. Eight, ninety, eight, forty-eight. So you stick them to your finger. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's stick it on in there and find out how it does. It's medically sealed for your safety. Okay, it's on there. It's on there pretty good. All right, thimble pad. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave it on there, see what happens. Next up. Uh, this essential notion, this is the ergonomic seam ripper. I, in general, I, you know what? I know this has nothing to do. This is my go-to. This is it. All the bells and whistles, except for the one that's like a steam, a, a lightsaber. That one's awesome. But uh, let's see. The essential notion is cute beyond belief. This ergonomic seam ripper features a soft cushion handle to go easy on your hands and a protective cap to keep the needle tip protected. It cuts thread easily and the color is cute enough to leave it out even when you're not daisy chain stitching. All right, okay. Um, it's cute, it is, let's, it's cute. Let's, let's get her on out of here and see what it feels like. It's definitely silicone-y. Okay, so this the blue parts are like silicone, are kind of sticky, and the white part isn't. It's more slippery. Cap, securely on for sure. If you have small children, this is probably a good one because that cap ain't going anywhere. So, okay, that's, that's nifty. Let's see, now we have the Sweet as Honey pattern. Uh, 38 by 49 and a half. So, 
So you need the stacker, you need some background, you need some binding. Okay. And then of course the block of the month. And that's it. Or choose the bottom of the box. I am left somewhat out of adjectives. So let's let's bring it to a vote. Well, let's, let me just tell you what I think. Quality versus price. Well, honestly, you can't. You can't get all that stuff. And this is still sticking to my finger, so that's, if you're a hand sewer, this is probably good. Um, I, I guess I kind of have to give it a five because of the price. That's a lot of stuff. And the the notions were pretty pretty good. Will I use any of them? Hmm. Yes, I will use that little that little thing. Okay. So quality, I am going to give it a three. I'm fabric quality. I didn't feel like it was good. It's not. I mean, it isn't. Like Joanne's fat quarters bad, but it was I uh uh, and I didn't love it. So three is there projects. Well, I guess if you count the block of the month, there's two. Well, it makes them no usable notions. Three. Seam ripper and the seam gauge or guide the seam guide I will definitely use and maybe maybe this I, we'll see creativity okay go forth and tell me how wrong I am or right I am or just I lost my lid story of my life there it is. Uh, it, it really just did not, did not thrill me. So, see you at the other camera. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I'm not, I did not. Nope. There, there were, ain't no sunshine for me in that box. But um, this is why we're going to do three months to give them another shot. To, to give them the opportunity to step it up a little bit. Uh, I wanted to mention that the last time I looked, which was this morning, the uh, Jolly Box was available for the Christmas box. It is slightly more expensive. I believe it's in the $35 range. Um, I got it last year, and I still use on the daily stuff that I got in that box, which um, it was a good box. <laughs> It was a really good box. So uh, give that some thought if that's something that you think you might be interested in. Um, what else is there? I think that's it. So uh, be well, be safe, and I'll see you next time for yet another riveting box opening. <laughs> Bye.